Business owners in Guava State St. John say their businesses are suffering due to work being done on the main road, which seems to be on a go slow. The residents claim that one team of workers contracted by the company spearheading the project is working on numerous projects at the same time, and as such, work is a go slow. This is severely affecting their businesses, says Zara Dikoto, as all the roads are closed, so there is no access for customers. We're grateful for the road, but um, when they blocked the road, our businesses was affected because after COVID, you go through that COVID crisis with the blocking of the road. Now you're faced with your business has been practically closed down. You have to throw away a lot of goods. These people who are working on the road also get a project at Brothers and also is doing a project at Closure. So I wonder how these people are dealing with it, plus July, uh, uh, during July to August, these people went and worked on schools fixing roof. The same set of people. So remember, this road was just no one was working. The young businesswoman explained that she had to close her shop and look for a job to pay her bills. I had also closed down, find another work somewhere. Otherwise, how am I going to keep the lights on? How am I going to keep my water on? come and I have to pay NIS because I registered my business, I have to pay NIS and nothing, you know, nothing has been coming into my business. I find if they had stuck with one project, they would have finished my project already, don't locate it in my area and they would have just moved on to another project. It would have been better for we in the community as well because this thing with changing from one project to another project and you know it's causing a big delay and impacting our businesses project manager of sunrise construction desmond john one of the companies contracted by the government to do the project acknowledged that they had several challenges which led to some delays um what has really happened is that when we started excavating to put in the walls as per design by the engineers and the contract, we discover that the soil type was different and there were some cavings in the area. So the reason why we are working from one side to the next is that we're taking the opportunity of wherever we get an opportunity to produce a work, to advance the work, we are working in those areas in the meantime. John told GBN they have met with the principal of the Shaper Secondary School to update them on the project and reassure them that by October, better arrangements will be put in place. He said they will also be meeting with residents and business owners in the affected areas later this week. At this point, we have crossed that hurdle. So we are now in a position where we have design drawings, we have the revised drawings, and you have the instructions of the engineer and the ministry to proceed. So really and truly is water under the bridge. What we will try to do now is to work on all sites simultaneously, increase our crew, increase our supply of concrete, steel, and formwork, and try to see how best we can wrap it up within a short and given time. Um, in dialogue with the ministry this morning, um, they initiated a, a concept where we will actually visit the, the shop owners, visit the businesses, and visit the communities within the coming week, between now and the end of the weekend, so we can have a one-to-one -one with them and enlighten them on exactly what's going on and if there is any way we can alleviate some of the issues, we'll try our best to facilitate. The project is scheduled to be completed in December of this year. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.